welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. I haven't actually played this in some time now, but we're jumping back into it. Um, I have no idea what the fuck we were doing. Um, I'm assuming we're going in here. So, without further ado, let's go in. Let me in. Uh, once the negotiation begins, you will be unable to return to the city. Are you certain you wish to continue? Um, yeah. When it says you won't be able to return for like some time, it usually means like five minutes. An island nation. Oh. Okay, so we're in a room. Um, what exactly is going on here? I'm talking to some old lady. Camellia. Thank you for coming. Uh, the negotiation is about to begin with First Secretary Claustra. Engage her in a manner befitting a king and strive to win her trust and cooperation. No sweat. Okay. First things first. Um, express gratitude. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Show concern for the Accordo. Demand to see Luna. Okay, show concern for Accordia. Accordo. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Um, be truthful. She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? Be truthful. I met Titan. And he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Okay, uh, allude to a common enemy. Show concern for the city. Be realistic. Uh, allude to a common enemy. I don't suppose <coughs> you'd cry over the Empire's losses? An intriguing suggestion. Uh, leave her hanging. Question reliance on Leviathan. Cut to the chase. Let's just cut to the chase, shall we? Seems to me you want a proxy to fight the Empire. Very sharp, your majesty. But before we go into that, there is one matter I'd like to settle. Okay. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. Agree to help evacuate. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Um, okay. Sure, let's just act... Displeased? Confident. Let's act confident. <coughs> not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, 
Few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Yes. Agree amicably. All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. You don't want to fuck with me, just so you know. Uh, return the threat. Um, empathize with her position. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Yeah, thank you. Um, ask her meaning. What do you mean, like my father? Sometimes I can't tell whether you're sharp or dull. Don't be a bitch. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. <laughs> Noctis made a positive impression on the first secretary. Awesome. We got Oracle Ascension coins. I think they're worth quite a bit, if I remember rightly. Okay. Well, that was done, and we just got experience for just talking to an old woman. That's not creepy at all, watching us leave. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. Great, so she's a bitch. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. The Day of the Right. Am I to sign a piece of paper? No, we're on another gondola. Well, I don't suppose you can even call it a gondola because he's not actually using the fucking stick. The very nice During boat, the though. Right, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. Alright, will do. Okay, well, I've got to try and remember how to fight because it's been like two months since I recorded an episode of this. So this could go one or two ways. It could either go really well or I could completely fuck up. We're not stopping there? Okay. Luna Freya Nox Flurret? Flurret. I don't know. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial watch. I guarantee she's working for right. the Imperials. Think she's of it as fuck a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. You're gonna fuck us over. Don't do it, Luna Freya. I am in your debt. Stab her in the nose with a hairpin. 
Once it's over, you may go as you oh, those weird but you do so like Asian hair needle things. So be it. Just ram it You're right up her nose. Like the old Egyptians used to do with hooks. And scramble her brain. Your public is waiting for you. Just deck her. Go on. You could do it. Hello, you pricks. Great, now they've got my future wife. Fucking hostage. I knew she was fucking working for him. Don't worry, Luna Freya, we're coming for you. The graphics in this are so fucking realistic. Well, I must have taken ages to code all this. I wonder if they use those weird um, body suits that they put on people with the weird... Um, like sensors on them to get all the like the motions and everything perfect. I guess we'll find out at some point. Because uh, I'll probably look it up. That's a lot of people. You in position? Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys too. Of course. Right. I think I'm gonna quick save it now, just in case I completely fuck up. Is there a quick save option? I can't remember. How do we save it? Um, I don't actually remember. Oh, we... No, don't load! Don't you dare. Why can't I save it? Talk about a crowd. Am I supposed the to go through it? Come to watch. Am I supposed to go through? No, I can't get through. What am I supposed to do then? That's my future wife. They have her hostage. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly, but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis, a dream of peace twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred right, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow on my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Nice speech. Hey, look, it's what's his face, his sister. Bless you all. What was his name again? I've got to try and remember all their names now. There was Ignis, um, it was Gladio something, it's his sister, Gladio, whatever his name was. I was just calling him Gladio, I believe. Car audio, toggle between standard, single track, repeat, and something or other. Can I save it now? Knocked. The Empire's here. So 
I'll have to kick some ass. Drop ships are closing in on the board. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay. Look after the citizens. We got them covered. So Good. It begins. Time to kick some dickhead ass. Right. First of all, we are gonna jump in and find out what button it is to open our menu to give ourselves like potions and shit. As soon as it'll fucking give me a screen to look at. I don't know what it's doing. Hello? There we go. Uh, saving checkpoint. Rites by which the oracle rouses a, the slumbering gods and then treats their aid. Okay. Ah. Lol. I wonder if these character faces are based on real people or if they're just completely made up. Here comes the Leviathan. Is it her singing? <laughs> oh, four mortal dare it break the I, slumber. Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Holy shit. Now that's a cool abundance. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm on it. Then the rites already begun. Most likely. Time to lend the hydrian a hand. Come on, bitch. I don't remember how to fight. Uh, although R2 is to get the potions out. Square is to duck. Triangle is to throw. Um. Oh, here we go. Circles to attack. I am doing like fuck all damage to these people. Doink. <laughs> uh, well worth it. Stop shooting at me, you bastard. Ah, I remember. Here we go. We're getting back into it. Have some of that. And what? Why am I in wait time? Is there still another bad guy around? Um, how did I? Ah. Okay, no, that's not the button. Which button was it to throw my, um... Okay, well, we'll just do this for now. Doing... These ones are much easier than them assholes in there. Just make sure you're dead. Hang on, what was that? Ah, uh, warp point. Um, do we have to hold it? Yeah, we do. And then that recharges our uh, health and m magic points. Okay, tr tapping triangle was the throw uh, from a distance. Oh. Square is to dodge. Have some of this, you bastards. I fucking think so, mate. Oh. Can you not? Jog on, Mr. Fuckwit. Oh, we're getting low. Right, we need another point where we can throw ourselves to. What? Have I put it in wait mode or something? <laughs> what does this lowly inferior spec know of all creation? I 
I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. Don't make me come and kick you in the dick, <laughs> Mr. Leviathan. <sighs> for the ingrid men quick to forget the ages of goddess it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship yet yeah, this profane spec speaks of her king and her goddess insufferable something Worthy. If not, then the feeding shall begin and I sh it shall end and I will spank this devourer. So let the customer be forced. If you're being a dick like this to work, face the other way. Heaven and earth, high and deep, burden return. The Leviathan is fucking him over. What? No time for questions. Man. The fuck am I on? What's this? New ride we borrowed from the Nifts. This will get us in close. Serious? Here she comes. I got this. Whoa. This is cool. Hey, nice job finding this baby. Well, when I saw her, I knew we'd go places. Not again. Not making this easy. Not. Hold on tight. Have some of that. Uh, I think I just lost my sword. Not. Can you reach? Right on the eye. Have some of this, you bitch. I'm on your face. Leviathan. <coughs> Request her power. I need your power! <laughs> That was a fucking long fall. Come on then, bitch. You want to fight? I'll fucking have you. I can't even walk that way. Whoa. What are you doing? So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down? Well, this town has been fucked. Um, how am I supposed to fight this thing? Aha! Let's go up there. And... I didn't mean to drop. I think I'm dead. Am I dead? No. Um... Ow. <laughs> I completely forgot that they swore in this game. Wow, this is gonna be a oh, a very interesting fight if I can't even fucking hit the bitch. You, bitch. 
Oh god. No! Have some of this. Oh fuck. That didn't work. How do I take so much damage from falling? Ow. I need to fucking like teleport. Thank you. Right, let's use a potion. Or maybe let's just use the potion for a minute. How much does that heal? I can't even use it on myself. Why not? Can I get down? Fuck you, bitch. Wanna play that game? That's not what I meant to do, but sure. I guess I was. <laughs> Give me the trident. Why are you coughing? You barely ran anywhere. Oh, fuck. Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. No! And do remind him about the crystal. You're dead, mate. Oh, Prince, your bride awaits. I'm gonna cut your head from your body, you fuckwit. I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness shall know peace. I'm gonna kill you, you prick. Don't tell me he's got the ring. How sweet. But please, Lady Luna Freya. You first. Don't do it. Ah, oh, it's the temple of the thingy. Kings. Oh, the temple of the kings. What is going on? I'm going Super Saiyan. Wait, that spear was... Or the trident was one of the weapons of the king. I can fly now? Apparently so. Well, this is a... Uh, might be a fight now. <laughs> I'm actually doing some fucking damage. I'll just cut one of its wings off. Have some of that, you bitch. I can fucking fly. Oh my god. Have some of this, you bitch. Guess what? You missed. Yeah, bitch. Oh, this is gonna take a long time, even in this mode. Just 
stand the fuck out of circles. Have some of this. Oi! Enough of that nonsense. Stop trying your bullshit at me. Don't hide in the water. Do, 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 do. Have some of this. Holy shit, that was good fucking animation. Come on, bitch. Get wrecked, son. <clears throat> Holy fuck. Come on, then. That must have taken some time to fucking <laughs> make that cutscene. God, the amount of effects in this game are so real. <clears throat> well, obviously flying isn't realistic, and neither are these swords or this weird leviathan dragon thing. But, like, the amount of work that must have gone into actually animating this. I mean, obviously the people would have had to drawn it first. Where'd you go? I like being able to fly around like so. Are oh, you gonna throw a twister at me, are you? I think you kind of did. Well, you, you didn't. You hit me, but still. Go up! Up! Not into the waterfalls. I like no way of dodging. How do I go up? Get out of the way, bitch. Oh, the fuck get me then? You're about to die, bitch. Don't fuck with me. I win. You, sir, are dead. Oh, we're breaking bits off of it. Guess what? You just got beaten by a mortal. One mortal. I know I'm like super OP at the moment, but still. It still took longer than it was supposed to. Some of that. Spam circle! Dukum! Have a trident in the face. Or all the way down your body. Jesus! Uh, time C, finesse C, uh, offense was A. Plus. It's well, done. That was pretty good. And now I'm gonna fall to my death. <laughs> or not. She do that thing to heal herself. <clears throat> oh, it's a little bloke. Although he's kind of massive. Another you know guy we fought first. He's 
he doing? Don't know how many I've got to fight him next. Hello, what's going on now? Noctis? Yes. Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. Oh. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Don't tell me she's dead. If she is, that guy is definitely going to die. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? <coughs> seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? No. Great. She used the last of her power to heal me. <coughs> Instead of herself. Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I want to do was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Dear Noctis. There's the ring. And so she died. That was a very uh, twist in the plot. <clears throat> plot twist, your future wife's dead. Well, that wasn't exactly the best news. Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. <laughs> Where is lost message?
Nope, trophy. Coolings. You probably can't see it. And somehow the town is still in one piece. That is very odd. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. So thank you all for watching. I like, comment, subscribe if you like it. And if you don't, as per usual, I'll see you on the next episode. Adiós.